these dots here, surgery. those are probably clips from a prostate surgery. Where I had his prostate removed. Do you think those are radiation seeds? Or? I think they are. Yeah, so they're radiation, they're radiation seeds, seeds that are trying to radiate mm -hmm. the cancer cells in the prostate. And you can see the psoas muscle well now. Yeah. yeah right, so you know, I'm not making it up this time. <laughs> hey, when in doubt, the clinical site, if you're a clinical instructor or faculty member, just point out this. Just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell him Todd told me to do it. <laughs> I heard you say that, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> Todd told me to do it. So. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the soleil. This is an upright abdomen. Do you know how we can tell? Look at the very top. What do you see? Oh, fluid. Um, yeah, that's the air in the fundus of the stomach, and it's got that horizontal line, so you know it's raised. But what's wrong with this? If that's an upright abdomen, what do you think is wrong with it? The diaphragm is cut. And remember I told you on an upright abdomen, you do not need the pubis synthesis. So that actually is centered, good for a KUB, KUB, but it needs to be a couple inches higher for an upright abdomen to be a good stone. And then what do you think that is? That's upright. 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 And what do you think the problem is there? Well, they definitely have a problem with the air and the fluid, but as far as the film quality, is that a passable film? No. no. How come? No, that's fine. <laughs> it's the same as the last one. You're cutting the diaphragms off. You're barely cutting it. You see, you're just kind of maybe missing about half an inch of it. And then same with here. You want to see a clearly defined diaphragm. But other than that, it's a pretty good film for position. It just needs to be a tad bit higher. This one. Ooh. Yeah. It's a baby. Yeah. I see a zebra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, that's an upright abdomen too. The <laughs> and they're just, uh, I mean, you can oh, fit a head in there. Yeah. It's just, no, that's just gas. gas. That's all gas. Just a, it's called yeah. the uh, extension valve. <laughs> Why is there two shades? That just two shades. Two shades. <laughs> That's double the fun. Yes, depending on the clips that they use to hook up the monitor. What do you think is wrong with that, if anything? You can't really see the synthesis. You think it's Maybe? double exposed? <coughs> <coughs> it's a weird idea. Looks like a ladder. It's a KUB, but somebody's belly. Is that roots or fingers? They might be fingers. Little legs. Little hands and fingers. That's actually a fetus inside the abdomen. Oops. That's the spine. Oh, okay. I was like, what is that? It's the spine. So his little head is there, or her. Little spine. Tiny little legs curled up. Or maybe arms. I can't tell either. Yeah, she's pretty far away. Yeah, it was not like. That's not too little. It looks like that's. That's all. That's probably a full term baby. Yeah. Now, do you know why the film's taken? No, that's probably an older film. Before they decided that babies and radiation don't mix. If well, if it's <laughs> well, um, the benefits outweigh the risks. If it's like this was maybe a you know very threatened condition the mom had, so they probably had to take an extra. Maybe the doctor. That right. one dose probably won't hurt the baby, but you know normally you wouldn't want to expose. But this woman probably had something serious going on. They needed to do it. Sometimes they do that when there's a, a urinary problem. I've seen. Even very limited IVPs done with full term babies. Yeah. They'll just do like a, 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 a scout and an injection in one film. And like you said, it looks like a full term. And they could shoot it with higher KV. Because I know years ago we used to do that. We'd shoot like 107 KV 
at like 10 masks. So Limit just, the mass dose. Yeah. If the doctor says to do the x-ray even though the patient's pregnant, do we still go ahead without yeah, the shield? As long as the patient consents and it's within your hospital policy. Can you document that doc doctor okay? So, 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 so. patient signed the consent that the risks were explained and the doctor wanted the test done. Twins? Yes. That's right, twins. <laughs> we got that one. We get the prize. Where did you see that? Oh, this is spine oh, on one side and the spine oh on the gosh, other. Man, she's good. I saw the two dogs. What did you say? The two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two are fighting it out. Are they going to be oh, breach? Yeah. 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 Ooh. So actually, they're probably each other's feet, feet are in their face. How were they? Like hating each other, so. <laughs> the head is at the very two skull yeah. are almost two melons each other. there. Yeah. <laughs> cell phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then it, what used Our to be a cell phone. phone. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> now that'll Good. destroy the cell phone, won't it? Um, because you have ionizing know. radiation hit it. It's not. Oh, this, uh, radiation won't destroy the cell phone. I don't think. That's definitely not I think the, the, this, this acidic acids. From our well, uh, digestive Mr. Chemical. Wizard. <laughs> I mean, you're knocking electrons out of orbit, so. Well, that's 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 the MRI would not. No. Be. It would burn it up and. I think MRI that, would, that would rip it to pieces. No, in pocket. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> here it says in abdomen. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mr. Wizard. But you can tell. I mean, it's superficial. Okay, just push on the Well, some people could. Tell one I'm not qualified. <laughs> we saw this one. No. no. Didn't we? Here is that one. I remember the one that I showed you last week with the spoon in, in the chest. It was behind the chest. Oh. Well, this one isn't behind. This is actually a bulimic patient that swallowed the spoon. They were trying to throw up and then... <laughs> how do they work, how do they work it down back. there? <laughs> yeah, how do they work... Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I worked at St. Anthony's for a while, and we had this repeat uh, patient, repeat offender. Uh, and St. Anthony's has a psych ward on the fourth floor or something, so a lot of the psych patients go there and are admitted for a few days. And this young man loved swallowing his batteries. Double A. That's all, it, that was his thing. Well, that's what he runs on. Hi, I'm Todd. I the energizer bunny. <laughs> 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 you got any double A's over there? And his big, you know, his, his what he got out of his like, oh, can I see it on the x-ray? <laughs> <laughs> he gets so excited and you show him his back, he'd just be like so proud, like, oh, yes. So we're good. <laughs> I got six in there this time. <laughs> I'll give you a picture of the x-ray when you promise yeah. not to do it yeah. anymore. Oh, yeah. They had uh, a few times they had to go in and surgically remove it. Because you're dealing with a batter. You don't want that thing to, you know, explode you to break, down and break down in there. Um, oh, yeah. But this is a funny story with this same guy. He was admitted, and this time it was for something else. I think it was Baker acted for one reason or another. And he was on the psych floor, and they knew his habit of battery eating. So they took every battery off the floor, every battery they could think of. Like, he's not getting the battery this time. Yeah. Well, they came down. He had this big grin on his face. Oh, I was like, what are you down here for, bud? Oh, I need my abdomen x-ray. I was like, how come? He's like, batteries. And the orderly's like, shaking his head. I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, well, he's sitting by the clock. <laughs> and, you know, we didn't think anything of it until it was still 12.30, two hours later. Oh. <laughs> and there's that guy smiling. So when they turned their back, he's like, oh. 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 you got your mouth moving? Like, he must come a lot, Todd, because I've been there a couple times when he was down there. Oh, yes. yeah. Wow. I remember his name. He's got a unique name, too. You can't oh, I don't remember that. It's a battery man. Battery boy. Battery boy. Battery boy. Battery boy. Battery Upright? This is an upright abdomen. Yeah. Female? Um, yes, Very female good. because you see fresh shadow there. Now what else <laughs> do we see that's a little distinct and different from other upright views? Air bubble. Yeah, this is free air under the diaphragms. See, this is the air in the fundus of the 
stomach, which is normal, they burp. But this here and this here is free air. So she's got a perforated discus or has some kind of surgery. And where's the brush Right here. <laughs> uh, there it was. Yeah. But this little black area here is the free air under that diaphragm. <coughs> And then here we have it magnified, so you can clearly see it. <coughs> All that is the free air. Now she was able to stand upright, but if um, she couldn't, you'd do a lateral decubitus, and you'd see that free air accumulate on the top here. <coughs>